Welcome to another Excel tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to break up text strings. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to break up a string into multiple parts. For example, if you get a list of names that are together in one column, we can break the first name and last name apart into two separate columns. It never fails. Sometimes you get sent a spreadsheet from a friend or coworker and they put the full person's name together in one column, like this. Joe Smith, Dave Williams, Amy Jones, and so on. Now, if we want to use these names in something like a mail merge or to properly address a letter or envelope, and we want to be able to say, Dear Amy or Dear Peter, we need to be able to break this up so that we've got first name and last name in two separate columns. In order to do this, we're going to need to know four different functions. The first one is length. I need to know how long each of these text strings are. And we'll use the length function for that. So I'll come up here and type in length. And I'll use the length function, L-E-N, the number of characters in a text string. Which text string? Well, in this case, it's A2, Joe Smith. And then press Enter. So Joe Smith, with a space in the middle, is exactly nine characters long. Right? If I autofill this down, I can see Dave Williams is exactly 13 characters long. All right, I'll format this a little bit, make it look pretty. There we go. So there's the length of each string. I'll need to know that so I can grab the right side of it. But next, let's determine where the first name and last name are separated. That's usually with that space right there. So I need to find where that space is inside that string. So I'll just put space position in column C. To do that, I'll use the find function equals find, open parentheses, what text am I looking for? I'm looking for a space. So I'll put quote, space, quote. All right, I'm looking for the space character. Comma. Within text means which string are we searching in? Well, I'm searching in A2. Okay. There's an optional third parameter. You can start at a different location inside the string. We don't need that right now. Close parentheses. Press Enter. All right. So the space in A2 starts at character 4. And if I look here, there's Joe in the space. That's position 4. I'll autofill that down. And there we go. The space here starts at character 5, right after Dave. All right, so I'll shrink this up, widen this one a little bit, and make it look pretty. There we go. Now I know how long the string is, and I know where the space is, so now I can grab the first name. First name. Okay, to do that, I'll use the left function. Equals the left most characters. How many left characters do I want? Well, the first thing I need is the text. What text am I searching in? Joe Smith, A2. Comma. How many characters do I want? I want the left four characters. Okay. Now, the left four characters will actually give me the space, too. So I'm going to say C2 minus 1. That'll chop that space off of there. All right. And then press Enter. And there's Joe. Click and drag it down. And there's all of our first names. All right. Looks good. Now, for the last name... I want the right most characters. So equals right, open parentheses, A2, comma, how many characters do I want? Well, it's the length minus the space position, right? In this particular case, 9 minus 4 is 5, right? Smith is 5 characters. Close it up, enter, and there's the Smith. Click and drag it down. And that's how we can get the left and write most characters out of a string. Now, of course, this example assumes you have just a first name and a last name. If you've got a middle name or a middle initial or a prefix or suffix like Mr. or Junior, that adds a little more complexity to this, but it's all basically the same techniques. I cover those more advanced examples in my full Excel tutorials, which you can find on my website. Or, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. But this, in a nutshell, is how you get started breaking up text strings in Excel. 
I hope you've enjoyed this free lesson from ExcelLearningZone.com. There are lots more free tips and tricks videos just like this one on my website. You can find them at ExcelLearningZone.com slash tips.